Hiya, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transplant my tomatoes from the seeding tray into a couple of pots here. Now, these are about a month old. We're now in the middle of April. I actually planted these in the middle of March. And you can see we've, we've, we've got some really, really good growth. They're about two inches long. A good time to transplant them is when they've got the first two leaves and they're coming out with their third and the fourth leaf. I've always found that's a good time to do. I've only done it a couple of times. However, I've read and learned from people that that is a good time that they are then starting to get their true leaves. So what I'm going to do is, quite simply, I've got some multi-purpose compost just in here. So all I'm going to do is get a couple of these with some multi-purpose compost in there. Okay, tap them, uh, tap them down, put them on here. Okay, one on there. One or two, and then with the dibber, make a nice, make a nice serve top. And then what I'm going to do is hold in the leaves. I'm going to tease it out. Oh, beautiful piece of root there, straight down in there. Press it down, nice and firm. Make sure there's no air pockets left in there. There we go. So that is a transplanted tomato number one. Put that over here. The second one, exactly the same thing. A nice big hole with the dibber there. Okay, so we've made a nice big hole there. And then again, very, very slowly, just teasing it out. Try not to damage any roots. Again, got a really nice uh, pair of roots there. Put that straight in down there. There we go. Pat it down nicely, nice and firm. So there is no air pockets whatsoever. There we go. That's number two. What we'll do is we'll do another one just for uh, good luck, since we said a nice big hole with the dip. Okay, so that's uh, one, two, three. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on, transplant a few more and then all I'm going to do is give them a very good watering and that's transplanting tomatoes. Like I've said, they're a month old, I've transplanted them now and uh, hopefully once they're maybe approximately six inches long, I'm going to put them in the greenhouse, you can see the greenhouse is in. I'm going to grab a couple of uh, grow bags and then pop them into the, uh, into the grow greenhouse, but I will update you and I've got something special, new, that I think is actually going to be really, really good for the tomatoes. It's going to help them grow. Keep watching. Okay, what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to sow some runner beans. Um, these are some runner beans that I bought at the local gardening centre. And these runner beans are stringless galaxy runner beans and you would normally sow these between April and July and harvest uh, July to October. Again, like I've said before, all of the information is actually on the, the back of the runner beans. Everything from how, where, care, harvest, tips for sowing indoors, for sowing outdoors. I've actually done some runner beans already. I've actually done, let, I'll tell you which ones I've done. I've actually done some runner beans. I've done the white lady runner beans, so they will be coming up quite nice. But today I'm going to sow the, the runner beans. And these are the ones with red flowers. The ones I've done have the white flowers, but I like a mixture, okay? And, and these are absolutely delicious. They're so, so easy to grow. And these are really, really good. You probably already know this, but this is videos for basic people. Potatoes, you put in the ground, it's a root vegetable. Onion, you put in the ground and it's sort of in the ground. These, you plant in the ground, but then what, what I'm going to have to do in the future is I'm going to make some kind of um, structure that it can actually climb along, okay? What I'm going to use is I'm going to use some canes. It's going to climb along the canes, run along it, okay? And then you pick these off. I like these because A, they look really nice with the red flowers, okay? You can pick them off. They're tasty and you can see them while they're growing. I think it's exciting. So let's go ahead and let's actually get these 
sold in the ground. Nope. Let's go ahead and let's get these sold in pots. Okay, so as usual, runner beans, it's quite often I do a lot of things in the trays, but with runner beans, it's actually easier to do them in pots. Um, and it's sold in here. So one or two seeds per pot, cover um, with about two and a half centimeters of soil, cover with glass or polythene, that keeps the heat and keeps the moisture in. Um, and then keep them at a good temperature, probably room temperature at least, and then seedlings appear seven to 14 days later. Would you like to go and just stand over here, fella? Good job. So they normally appear about seven to 14 days after so. Let's get the packet open. And um, I'm actually gonna show you what these beans look like as well. The temperature is actually starting to drop. What are we? It's about 5.30 on, a, on an April afternoon. I try not to ruin the packets, uh, purely because quite often what I do is I'll... Uh, oh, these are big ones. <coughs> job. I'll quickly just come over and, uh, and, and show you exactly what they, uh, what they look like. There we go. So, nice decent sized seedlings. Um, and what, what they'll do is they'll grow into... Uh, in these pots. So, Put these back in here. Some soil from this. Just gonna do a few today. Really, really quick. Pat them in. Pat that in. Let's do three. One. Pat this in. Here we go. We've got an orange one. Oh, let's put the black one in. Magically, we have an orange one. We've probably actually got enough for one more, so let's put one of the black ones in. And out comes an orange one. Let's pat that down. Okay, so just over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, let's get some uh, seeds in here. Remember, about two and a half centimeters in, it's going to be covered in. I'm going to be honest, what I tend to do is put the seed in straight down, push it in, give it a little push with your finger, think to yourself, is that about two and a half centimetres, give a little push, cover it up, that's it, done, one, Let's get another one, I like one of these, so I'm going to do quite a few, two, here we go, another one, two, three, cover that up, there we go. And then, as usual, once I've done another three more, I'm going to do six in here. Once these are uh, done, what I'm going to do is water them, put them on a windowsill somewhere warm, whiz this over, um, leave it a handful of days, seven to 14 days. They will then germinate, and you'd be surprised how quick they start growing, 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 growing. Once they're done, I'll obviously uh, transplant them outside. There'll be a video, you'll be able to uh, follow the progress of my runner beans. One thing that I forgot to mention, which I always, always do, is I'll write out a tag, date and time, shove it in, one of these or even all of them. And at the same time, what I'll also do is whiz them there, take a photograph, that way I will be able to look at the date on the photograph and know what day I actually planted them, although, I've got the uh, I've got the tag. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did. Feel free to subscribe. I will be here every week.